Gamers y Games. There, my boys, off on a grand adventure. The most important mission of their lives. The heroic epic they've always dreamed about. Truly, the finest of Grecian maidens will sing of them. Glory and honor are everything to us dogs of Ares. Except for maybe fame and statues. Poems that fill 50 scrolls. We're Greek. We don't do things halfway. I've been training these lads since they were toddlers to be the best. And I mean THE best at fighting, slaughtering, capturing, convincing, and all the other important hero stuff. My boys became so good at being heroes that people can buy our hero services. That's right, buddy, we're mercenaries, serving our god Ares or whoever gives us coin. The ruler of the Celts, King Ith. Heard about our epic hero skills and hired my fine young protege, Heraklios, to guard him and his entourage on his mission to Ireland. They're off to meet the Celtic gods, the Twatha the Danan. And Heraklios is going to make some serious coin, and probably some new friends along the way. Maybe find a few Celtic maidens too, 
or man maidens, mandans, whatever floats his boat. Whispers drift on the cool breeze as it wafts over the sea. Could it be the one who will guide them to a new world is amongst them? Could this be the first verse of the legend of Mill of Spain, the Waylander? You're the first to rise, my king. Always. Is there anything you need? No, no. I've, uh, I've been looking forward to this day my entire life. The moment I finally meet the Tuatha de Danann. The moment we finally blend our worlds into one. As have I. Though you might have to stop me from putting my foot in my mouth. Meeting my gods, my heroes, it's a lot to take in. <laughs> you don't have to do any of the talking, or convince them to treat you like an equal. That's my job. For that, I am grateful. Are the others awake? That new soldier woke even before me. The others are beginning to stir. What about my son? Do you want the honest answer? Or, um... He's fast asleep, isn't he? He didn't go to bed until about two hours ago. I'm pretty certain he's still drunk. Oh. I asked you to guard him, watch over him. I know, but... Perhaps the Prince should remain here on the ship during our negotiations today. Then how will he learn? Well, not from you, I suppose. Ouch. Fair, but... ouch. How long have they been here? The whole time. So... How do you feel about meeting the gods today? While I admire your commitment to your duty, I'd encourage you to have opinions. Feelings are what set us apart from beasts. I came up here in the first place to ask if your majesty wanted some breakfast. Not just yet. Allow me a few more moments alone to enjoy the stars on the horizon before the sun washes them away. But of course, my lord. Shall we? Um, And now, thanks to my hard work, I'm the youngest leader of the Druids College ever. Yes, Amigan, we know you ship rainbows. Stop bragging to the new kid. Well, not all of us have had thousands of years to perfect our craft. You're right. Some of us learned to shut up before we turned 30. Be nice, my dear. The sun hasn't even risen yet. Mmm, yeah, because nighttime is when no one ever does or says anything naughty. You're insufferable. I love you, too. Sustenance has arrived! Oh, thank goodness. I am positively famished. You ate more than anyone else at dinner last night. Yeah, I worked it all off. Okay! Egg time! Yum! We have to wake mm. up the prince eventually, yeah. but he's... he's not going to be happy about it. Nope. Absolutely not. Hmm? Mm, 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 uh, uh don't look at me.
I've lived there since I was a kid. Oh, yes, I could go on about it forever. It's my favorite place. I was found to have talent and brought there to study. Imagine all the smartest people in the world, all in one place, all trying to get smarter. Everyone devout, excited, hungry for knowledge, power. It's exhilarating. And now they put me in charge. It's almost too good to be true. Yes, I am. There are gods, the Tuatha de Danon. No one knows more about them than the druids. I'm arguably the most necessary person here. We study their magics till our fingers bleed from turning old pages. Yes, well, he's an idiot. I mean it, he's a total dipshit. He's a party kid. He doesn't act like a prince. The king is so devoted to helping him try to get his shit together, but Lugade doesn't even care. And then I got stuck babysitting the little fucker. <sighs> He's not my favorite. We like giving each other a hard time, and she can be overly dramatic for my taste, but I respect her. I've learned a lot from her. And I know there's far more she could teach me. We're all so fabulous and stunningly attractive. I personally am unusually skilled at magics lost to all but the most educated of Morians. Because my skills in the negotiation and persuasion departments are, shall we say, oh no, I'm not going to be humble about this, I'm a damn good talker. I hold a high position in Morian society. Oh my dear, kings die. I last. I've watched nearly a hundred generations of human rulers. I exist on a scale beyond your comprehension. Morians? We're the best. Okay, fine, that's not true. We mostly live underground, in the dark, so that's not the best. We are immortal and do have a lot of gold, though, so that's fun. Not just that. I check so many necessary boxes. I'm a powerful sorceress. I know more about the Tuatha than the entire Druid College combined. I'm an important representative of the Morian culture. And I'm charming as fuck. Ah, anything I want. <laughs> I'm joking, dear. Talaysin is a powerful, handsome man. We have a nice time together. Only the greatest place in the world, Greece. All true heroes need to go on a life-changing journey, like Odysseus. In order to grow, we must leave our homes and face unknowable dangers. This is my quest. Don't get me wrong, I am already a hero, but I could use a better story for the history books. I'm the best hand-to-hand -hand combatant in the world. I've been training since I was a small child. No one can defeat me. You're safe as long as I'm nearby. You would be, too, if you'd spent 27 years chiseling your body to absolute perfection. I've earned this. I'll flaunt them as I wish. Well, uh, I've been an archer and a general for the king for over a decade. My speciality is in planning and spotting traps. We're not expecting any funny business, but just in case, ah, I should be able to take care of it. Uh, the capital. I'm part of the royal family. King Ith. I'm his cousin. It's not the only reason I became a general, but I won't pretend it didn't help. My sons, Eremon and Eberfin, are right behind Prince Lugade in line for the throne. 
My beloved late wife was Ith's sister. Yeah, she was my cousin too. <laughs> Royalty. No, we don't know each other that well. I'm a middle-aged widower, and she's a beautiful woman with more knowledge than I could acquire in 20 lifetimes. Oh, we've met up dozens of times over the past few years, but we never really talked about it. I'm just glad to get to spend time with her. Lugade, he's a kid. People have started writing him off as a possible ruler, but what is he? Nineteen? He has time. He's smart and he's kind. Oh, he'll grow into a king one day. I have faith in him. Your Highness, Prince Lugade. If he ruined my favorite cloak, I'm gonna feed him to Ah, a go easy on him, Amagin. Maybe he'll be better at holding the throne than holding his liquor. At his age, I was already an established professor. We already know you're a freak, no need to brag. Yeah, bragging is my thing. Everyone, we're here. Our scouting boats have finished surveying the beach. We should be safe to land. But it's strange. There were no people to be seen. They're not exactly people, Taleson. They're gods. I know. Our gods. But do they not walk on the ground? Do they not bend twigs when walking past trees? What do you mean? There's nothing. Nothing at all. I'm done with this. You fucking imbecile! Father, why are we giving them presents? You're the king. They should be giving tribute to you. We are emissaries of peace to a people more powerful than any of us can understand or even imagine. This is a privilege. Well, I'm sick of privilege. <sighs> so are we. Excuse me? How's that hangover, your highness? I can't believe you made me share a cabin with this. This. Speak, child. What am I? Enough! I have done everything in my power, both as your king and as your father, to prepare you to carry the crown. You're an adult now, and your mother and I, we don't know what else we can do. When we return home to Galicia, I'm calling together the council. We need to decide if you're ever going to be suited for the throne. But father... From now on, you will address me as your majesty. Stop gawking and get back to work. <laughs> I knew it was going to be the best day of my life, but I didn't realize just how best. Meeting our gods is something I've wanted my entire life. True. I knew I'd achieve it, though. I've been advocating we do this for longer than I care to admit. The prince, however, it was only a matter of time before the king snapped like the rest of us. I'm just worried that now it's too late for Lugade to recover. Tracking won't work. The Tuatha don't move as we do. Their forms are ethereal, they're ever-changing. One moment a bird, another a leaf. 
The Tuatha are entwined with nature in ways we cannot fathom. They're probably announcing their presence already, waiting for one of us to catch on to something subtle many would ignore. When I'm hunting down prey, I use my sense of smell. I see if there's any blood in here. Once, when I was stalking a lion, I followed him into his den, convinced I was about to slay the largest beast of my heroic career. But I... Well, he had a whole litter of cubs, and I just, uh... I, I couldn't. They were, uh... Well, they were so... Cute. The noble I was working for adopted the whole lion family. Now they live in luxury, all thanks to Heraklios. Ha <laughs> I too was a partier at his age. Oh, I have some sympathy. But I was much better at carrying heavy stuff, and keeping my mouth shut. was wondrous strange. No one. I've been hunting for nearly 40 years. There's no evidence of anyone living in this area. At least not any I'd know to look for. Oh, my heart aches. I can't imagine having to do that to one of my sons. But now, I may have to. My eldest, Eremon, is next in line to the throne after Lugade. And my Eberfin after him. Oh, gods. I don't want that responsibility for them. My sons are wonderful young men. Oh, but so gentle. They both lack the fire needed to lead the Celts. They haven't been raised with this in mind. Lugade has been, and, well, look at him. Uh, then again... I need some time alone to think. Center myself before I meet my gods. I must focus on what lies just ahead instead of dreading conversations necessary when we return home. My wife is going to hate this. I didn't enjoy a single moment of that, no. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I had to do it. Thank you. I'm not sure I did, but what's done is done. My wife Escotta and I, we were never able to have more children. Lugade is so precious to us, we've shown him as much love as we know how. And now this. If I can't be a good father, maybe at least I can be a good king. Humiliated! How dare he! I am his son! 
Does that mean nothing to him? Why can't he accept that I'm trying my best? I'm still young. I still have time to grow into this. My father is an amazing king, but he wasn't perfect at my age. Why is he holding me up to such a high standard? Ah, he can rot in the underworld for all I care. It's never mattered what I wanted. It's my birthright, or whatever. Mother never shuts up about it. I've always had to be the prince, whether I liked it or not. Now our majesty is throwing it in my face. Asshole. You remind me of my younger self. Full of passion, but short on. I remember my first. If you're looking for combat training, well then, I'll be here. Stay with me, my king. I need more, Amagin. We can do better than this. How dare you tell me what to do after embarrassing me in front of the Tuatha? Oh, the Tuatha that just attacked us. Those Tuatha, huh? Yeah, I'm a wretched bitch for dimming their esteemed opinion off you. Can't believe myself. <laughs> Help! Thank you. Now let's crush these bastards.
We're being surrounded by fear bollocks. I don't know where they're coming from, but there are a lot of them. And it's not good. Help me organize the troops. This is chaos. On it. You, help us. Kid later, save your energy. Would you all please stop? Father, are you still alive? Not if you keep doing that. We need to get the king back to the boats. Agreed. Here, you're not stable enough for me to remove the spearhead, but that should make things a bit more comfortable. Nothing about this is comfortable. Your Majesty, can you stand? Here, I'll help you. I've got you, Your Majesty. I'll carry you home. I'm all right. I can stand. I just need to go slow. Keep them off me. We can do that. I'll meet you at the beach.
There! The boats! Huh! 
Good work, Tulesin. I knew I could count on you. Take all of our people and get them to the boats. 
You're the strategist. Do you think this is going well? No. Wishful thinking. <laughs> we don't have time for that. You're brave, Greek. You too, kid. Let's get a drink when this is done. The rest of you get on those boats. I need to take care of some. If the legends are correct, there should be a cave on this beach that connects to the Morian Otherworld. I need to seal it, so that whatever it is that's happening here doesn't come for my people next. You can't do that kind of magic without me. I felt it. We all did. That must be... Lou, the wolf? The lost king of the Duatha. Hmm, more attractive than I'd imagined. What is wrong with you? The curse upon Ireland has been awakened. I am now reborn. I will not rest until I have dismembered and dined upon the entrails of every mortal creature who dares cross my path! Tell your mother I love her. The glowing hand seems to be a focus on his magic. We should focus on the glowing hand. on the glowing hand. We should focus on the glowing hand. We did it. Attack his head. You're the king now, Lugade. Command your troops. I don't know what I'm doing. My soldiers, my countrymen, onto the boats. We must leave this cursed place. Good fight more than anything else in the world. But we're fucked and we need to go. We'll distract the Tuatha. You're with us. We need to draw their attention and make it to that cave. 
good idea. That should keep them from getting too close to the king. Something feels wrong. I can't think. I know, but I need you to let us in. Through that cave. I was being an asshole before. We can't do this without you. Are you ready? No. But let's go. Let's go home. Did they make it? Seems so. At least we didn't die in vain. We're not going to die. Save that cheeky optimism for the ritual, darling. It's going to be rough. All right, Tully. We need you thought you could escape, us. I'm counting on you. Fucking death! But you were wrong! Your souls are ours for all eternity. Naz, hurry! Talazan's talk. Right, you. Don't stand there. Pick it up and put it on. Any change? Not a one. Nothing I've tried seems to make any difference. You'll get it. I know you will. But what if you're wrong? I'm a seer. Did you see this? Any of this? I did not. Then stop invoking your title. You can't be the seer and fail to see things this monumental. You're awake! What? You did it. You saved Mill. I mean, of course. Of course I did it. This is what I do. This is Baroth. He's been taking care of you since... You... Well... A lot has happened since you've been... I'm sure you have questions. Well... You died. Technically speaking. True. You weren't exactly dead. There was something about you that... I don't quite know how to explain it. But I was able to keep you stable with my magic until we got you back here. Lucky for you. The cave you found connected with the Morian Otherworld. No, it didn't. Not initially. I made them connect. Magic is so helpful sometimes. It's a bit of a miracle. If Amagin and I hadn't been by your side, there's no way you would have survived. It took all our magical ability to keep you stable and bring you back here. It's likely that we're the two most talented wielders of magic alive right now. And they're the most humble. Am I wrong? I didn't say that. Humility is for the unexceptional. I am merely honest. We did manage to kill Lug with your help. And dozens of the other minor to us. But the Three Kings, no. No, they're still out there. You barely escaped with your lives. Killing them wasn't a possibility. And I'm shocked any of you made it back alive. I'm not sure. None of what's happened makes any sense. Taleson has well, had a bright destiny. He can't be dead. I'm not mourning, you sweet old fool. I'm saying he quite literally should not be dead. Destiny itself is corrupted now. Nothing is unfolding as it should. This is my home. In the Morian Otherworld. She's been keeping you here since the... incident. Safest place in the world, complete with all of my magical artifacts and luxurious pillows for rest and recovery. My home is not too far, so we've had access to my research as well. 
Another Morian. Another old Morian? It's true. I've been alive for a long time. Enough time to read just about every book that's ever been written. Learn most songs. Memorize most medicinal cures. I don't have the ability to use magic, but I have the next best thing. A decent brain. Haven't always used it to its full potential, but focusing on healing you was and is an honor. My healing magic made it so we haven't had to feed you, but you're probably starving now. Oh yes, you should eat. Start to regain your strength. I have some stew simmering in my home. I find the smell calming. I'll be back in just a few minutes with a bowl for you. Good. I have a great fondness for Brad, but I need to speak to you alone. Come find me in the throne room when you're ready for a nasty little chat. First off, you should absolutely be dead. Our talk saved you. It absorbed the brunt of Tuatha's attack. But now I can't see your past or your future. Honestly, it's given me such a headache. 